darlings welcome back to royal appleberry i am kenny the messy sofer so what is this going on in front of you um so i'm going to be using pvc piping and i decided to just come back and show you guys because you know i'm doing it and it's not a lot of work <laughs> so um i went to home depot yesterday i got this one which i already cut and then that's when i decided you know i probably should show you guys you know and then i got the next size up and then I got the larger size which I don't know if you guys can see the sizes let me move that back so those are the sizes that I have here what am I going to do with these I'm going to use them for embeds circular embeds and of course um, I think everybody's probably uh, seeing people using uh, PVC piping to make circular soaps but I'm going to use this for embeds and I'm pretty sure I'm not the first to do it but I figured I'd just share with you all you know what I mean so I'm not too concerned about them being exact length um, these came up to five dollars and eighty nine cents so uh, pretty cheap you know what I mean and it's durable and it lasts forever so you know so I did my measurements and this was the first one that I had Oopsies. <laughs> That's the first one that I had, so I made my marking. I made it just a wee bit bigger because I knew that I wanted to just make a hair bigger. So now it, is this the right one I just used? Wrong one. <laughs> so yeah, this is the one I used. I cut, yes, that's what I did. I cut a hair smaller just to be on the safe side. So it fits right down my mole. There's a little bit of room for wiggling, which I'm okay with. So now I need to cut this one down to size. I'm going to uh, trim this down off camera, but what I will do is take the piece that actually fits and go on to the next side. I don't need to measure anymore just because I already know what size it needs to be. So just kind of line it up. Okay, so this is where I want my first cut to be. Okay, so I know you couldn't see the rest because I just kind of um, moved out of the frame because I needed to cut it off my table so I didn't cut my table. So, the piece that I just cut, so you want to clean up the little fringes. And I just got some sandpaper to pack it. I just kind of go through the window. This is a lazy, lazy girl's guide to um, <laughs> everything right now. But my soap is going to be pretty detailed. So I'm not trying to make any more work for myself than I already have. You know what I mean? All right. See that? Now the fringes and the frays are gone. Now that one fits down in the mold just like the first one. So there we go. And then I'm... Eh, you get the gist of it. <laughs> There's no sense of me doing the large one and trimming all the rest of the pieces. I just want to bring you guys in so you can see that. And then I am going to show you in this video how I'm going to use them, how I plan to use them. So once I get to that point, I'll bring you back, you guys back. Okie doke, I am back and um, I'm actually standing on a step stool well above so I can see and you guys can see too. So what I've done after I clean them all up and all that fun stuff and um, I took some freezer paper the shiny side on the inside and rolled it up and stuck it in the tube so now oh can I see in a viewfinder I don't know this is this is a little difficult and if I'm really loud it's like because my mouth is like right above the speaker ah oh, okay Seems like it's taking forever. Okay. That's a little bit long, but you um Okay, and I have these stood up in a um oh my gosh, I can't see anything. That one is a little bit short. I need just a hair more, I think what I needed I poured into this first one crap so <laughs> um oh i know i'm loud so sorry about that but yeah so i need to melt some more and then i'll be back okay i think that i have enough this time i'm gonna fill up this one first and oh i forgot to show you guys 
on the bottom of these I have a piece of plastic with a rubber band wrapped around it that's why it's not spilling out all in the cup that's holding it and you'll see when I take it off okay so perfect now I'm just going to do that one more spritz and then we're gonna leave this to sit and I'm gonna fill this ball mold up um, to make embeds for the top of my soap I think I want to use that color but we'll see okay so once it solidifies and um, I get all of my soap stuff ready my CP soap I'll bring you back okay so um, I'm going to be the first to tell you that uh, these <laughs> PVC pipes they are very 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 difficult to take melt and pour soap out of oh my gosh so Gabe actually took this one out last night he actually had to take two of them out because I just couldn't get them out at all um, I did save one this one came out fine the paper tore on this one and um, I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing this y'all <laughs> so this is how I seal the bottom to keep the soap from spilling out just a piece of plastic and a rubber band simple huh now let's see how simple it is to get this out because Gabe pushed these I know I'm not gonna be able to show you guys but once I get it broken from this seal right here then um bring you guys back all right so yeah um thankfully Gabe just and I'm still struggling to get this out Gabe came home for lunch and he helped but he still wasn't able to get it out so I end up um why is it so long <laughs> what is this what is going on <laughs> oh I'm like why is this thing so long that's my dowel that I'm using to push it out <laughs> the paper actually flipped over on the opposite side so yeah I had to use this dowel this wooden dowel to push it to get it out and trust me I may have a black eye tomorrow <laughs> because I was actually um, pushing it and it slipped because I had it on the counter it slipped and I punched myself in the face so hard I'm not joking so <laughs> I have a slight headache from that <laughs> so yeah um, I'm not a fan of these what's happening and I don't know why it's happening but um, I'll show you here so it's wound around enough you know it's not like it's just uh, the edges are right next to each other but the soap is actually seeping, seeping out and going into the tube the two that were the hardest to get out and I know you guys aren't going to see it like that one is like super clean on the inside that one has soap gunk on the inside and then so does this one so these were the ones that were the hardest to get out because the soap got out of them but so what Gabe suggests I do for the next one is take like some cooking spray spray on the inside of the tubes and uh, then put the paper in it so even if the soap does leak out um, it'll be more willing to move and what I had to do with this one that's why this one's kind of marred I actually stuck it in some hot water and let it sit for about 15 minutes and then that's how I was able to push it out so yeah not a fan won't be doing this anytime soon um <laughs> it's just too much work so and I don't even know how I'm gonna clean these I don't know probably like a baby bottle brush I have a little teeny one for the nipples I could probably use that for but anywho moving along so I'm gonna take these and this one's lighter just because I didn't have enough and I just added some more clear mouse and porch just to you know you know you know you know okay so <laughs> move that off to the side and now oh I forgot to tell you guys too this is the next day once I tried to unmold those tubes and they were so difficult, I'm just like, bye y'all. So, <laughs> it's not in the mood. So I didn't finish this. Like I said, this is the next day. Um, I need to re-melt my oils because they have thickened up. I'll just pop them in um, the microwave for about less than a minute just to kind of knock the chill off. It's kind of cool in my basement which is where my soap studio is at so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get my colors um, blend it back up and then we will actually start this soaping process using my brand new molds which um yeah so I started this video off I forgot you that you guys didn't even see this mold um, 
<laughs> so yeah, let me give you an introduction to my new baby. This mold, okay, so the mold, the, the slap mold that I've been using in a lot of my videos that you guys always go gaga over, they came from Custom Soap Tools. And um, someone told me, and I think I mentioned that in another video, or you will, guys will see that video, they told me they do custom soap uh, molds for you. Duh, hence the name. So <laughs> I contact Alex of Custom uh, Craft Tools, and he's a really, really nice person. <laughs> It was very easy and pleasant working with him. I asked for um, some custom tall skinny molds. You guys know I had been wanting these. He even made the lids. I mean, seriously. And this is me with all my soap muck all over it. Because um, they were sparkling clean when I got them. But he made the lids. These do break down. Isn't this beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. I am so in love with this mold. I cannot wait to use this mold because I mean come on you can actually see what you're doing and I need to clean it out because all of the debris from me cutting those tubes but um yeah matter of fact I'm gonna take it apart now because I need to wipe it down just to clean it before I get started but show you guys how it puts together this mold is just absolutely beautiful so you guys saw my white one or you will see my white one that is the one that I ordered and um, he actually he actually gifted this one to me so I feel super duper 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 blessed <laughs> if you are looking for um, custom loaves please go over to and I'm gonna put his link link to a shop in the bottom I'll go over to custom craft tools on Etsy and support please do support because these are such good quality molds look at this look how beautiful this mold is and like i said it's all gross because of me but um he does such a beautiful job it's so seamless i am madly and truly madly in love with this mold so look how easy it is to come apart so can you imagine how great my soaps are going to come out and then this one is perfect because i can actually like i said see what i'm doing which when I want to do an ombre, which I plan to do uh, today, I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I have the white one as well. This is the one that I ordered, was my custom order. It's exactly like the acrylic, so you can get them in acrylic or white. Um, yeah, please, 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 you know, go and support. <laughs> because they definitely deserve it over there. Alex, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it so much. Um, I just love all of your work. I really do. I can't even say enough how much I love your molds. I really do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And then, um, we'll be ready to make soap. Yay! Alright darlings, let's get started. And the fragrance that I'm using is a Lush Dupe called Rockstar. I don't believe that I've ever made it in a soap. Um, I've always used it for bath bombs and bubble bars. And um, Last year, I got so many requests uh, at my craft fairs. People saying, you really need to make this in a handmade soap. So, that's what I'm doing. It smells absolutely wonderful every single time I make it. Whether it be bubble bar or bath bomb, it sells out very, very quickly. So, it is a winner. You guys know I am a big fan of all types of Lush dupes. Love Lush dupes. So, now, let's just put this out here. I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> um, I had this idea. I don't know exactly if it's going to be able to turn out the way I want it to. don't know if I'm going to be executed. I don't know nothing. So, like I said, this is just kind of me winging it. So, too lazy to measure anything because that's just how I roll. Um, I'm going to actually take my mold and sit on my scale and pour my raw soap base in it and see what happens. You know what I mean? But, first, first, um, yeah, I was about to screw up already. Let me grab another bowl because this is going to be two separate colors. I'm still on the fence if I want to do two separate colors, but I figure since I've already dedicated myself to it, I might as well just rock it out. Hold on. 
right, so what I've done is separate these into two different buckets now. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what I decided I was going to do. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm back on track, I think. Hold on. Because I don't want this to be natural soap base color. No, I don't. So, what I'm going to do, what color I'm going to start with first? Blue. Now, this inspiration came from a picture. It was a, a blur out background that I like the colors in. And, um, um, I think I'm going to start with, yeah, I'm going to start with blue. It was a blurred out background that I like the colors of. And, um, it had bubbles. And that's what gave me the idea of using bubbles. So, I'm going to go ahead and stir that in. And I probably should have lightened this with white first. Because this uh, yellowish color is rather unsightly to me. Alright, don't go splashing soap, Kenny. That's not good. I'm not sure. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. I, okay, so my next one. I am going to lighten it a little bit with white because that is an ugly color. It really is. And I might just add a wee bit more blue. Give it just a quick blues. So yeah, okay. Basically, this is what I'm going to have to do. I was going to add a half a teaspoon, but I'm going to add one whole teaspoon. Because this color is funky. I ain't enjoying it <laughs> at all. I can rock out with this one a little bit better, although it looks like a dirty gray. Um. I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying my hand at the ombre. Like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just going to weigh my first pour. And then I'll know what to put in my cups. Okay, so that still turned out gross. <laughs> right, so anyway, I'm not gonna worry about that. So sit that over there, take this off of grams, clear it out. And I'm gonna pour this in the middle until I like where it's going. So basically, I found that this soap, I mean, its fragrance does not play well with blue. <laughs> um, it has thickened up quite a bit, which is okay. As long as it doesn't keep thickening up, I don't mind it. There is a lot of color morphing here. And so, as all the struggle that I've gone through with these, I've now decided they're not going in there because I'm not going to be able to get the two colors that I wanted. Because as you can see, that one's <laughs> which when I stir it it will be just like this but I'm just gonna let that hang out over there for a second um yeah so I'm just gonna keep this pretty basic and just do an ombre
say that um, I'm going to use this fra uh, fragrance strictly for bath bombs. <laughs> um, so, I've mixed and tried to make this darker, and I don't feel like I can add any more colorant before you start getting some crazy blue bubbles. So, um, yeah. It's just have to it'll hopefully it'll be a slight gradient effect in it between the two colors and hopefully i'm not pulling it up too much when i'm patting it on top as you can see this layer is quite thick okay phone shut up seriously <laughs> it's in the background just asking for my password over and over again and she's still talking but anywho <laughs> so um i'm gonna give this a smack down and then try to get some more. I actually thought I was going to have too much, but it actually worked out. And I'm not going to even try to um, get any more on here. I mean, I add any more. Just not. Mm -mm. That would just be ridiculous. I'm going to grab some botanicals and see what looks good with it. But first, I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit on the side. <laughs> so... Just kind of do that. Give it a little bit of a textured top. Nothing too crazy. This mold is just my everything. Absolutely everything. And again, don't forget to go check out Custom Craft Tools. And talking to the owner is a breeze. I mean, he is very, very pleasant. Um, he responds very quickly. And no, I don't know this person at all. I just happened to purchase a mold from him and I loved it. And anytime I come across a product that I love, I will support the heck out of it. And I just do like what custom craft tools do. So that is why I am promoting them. And then I just get a lot of people asking me about the molds. <laughs> And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on this one as well because it's gorgeous. And I know I keep talking about it, but that's just how much I love this mold. Seriously, no jokes. All right, so. Okay, that totally did take a turn. I'm just like blown away by how this just, this this fragrance just totally changed my plans. All right, so I have some jasmine. And a lot of you guys always ask me where do I get my botanical. And I think I answered in the comment section, but a lot of people don't read the comments. So, if the camera will show you, it is at dgstoreuk.com. Um, this is where I got all those botanicals you guys saw in that video. And she ships extremely fast. Um, and I love their products. So, there, I've given two company shout outs in one video. But I really, really do like their products. So, I decided to use these jasmine. Just because the bottom is like a kind of a pinkish yellow to it and I think this will work because I mean like I said it is a female fragrance and I want to keep it feminine so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down in there okie doke so this is what it looks like on top there's your close up that color is just lovely and then if you come down you can see the reflection of me <laughs> right. um but you can see if i come up closer how you can see the change in the color all right yeah my memory card was full so i had to grab my other one so there's the side and then here's the other side isn't that cool i am madly madly in love with this mold and the soap <laughs> so it turned out to be a good day if you guys like this soap be sure to give a thumbs up it will be greatly greatly appreciated thank you for tuning in as always and starting this wonderful journey with me in 2018 and all the soap making fun we're gonna have like uh this and again this here i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i'll figure it out it's probably gonna go in a little tiny mold um i can still work with it one would think that i can't because the spatula's like stuck in it but I can so I'm not too concerned about that but um yeah that'll be sample soaps yeah so um if you're new to my channel hello I am so fucking happy you found me so glad you tuned in um 
So I'm glad you stuck around. And if you like this video and you like to become my stink become a part of my stinking awesome crew go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and be sure to hit that bell to get notifications of whenever i post new videos and don't forget to head over to custom craft tools and order yourself one of these molds guys please <laughs> um because income tax time is coming around we need new soap supplies so be sure to put this on your list of molds to get because i love it all right, guys, until the unmolding, which will be unmolding. I'm so used to using the one with the dividers. <laughs> until the cutting um, of this soap, it will be attached to this video. So I don't even know why I did my outro. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Bye. Hi, darlings. So this is the next day. Yeah, the next day. And I wanted to unmold it. I'm not going to cut it today, but of course for you guys, it'll be in the same day. I just wanted to bring you, I'll let you see that up close, and let you see me unmold this. Just see how easy this mold comes apart. I already took the screws out because, I mean, yeah, don't need to see that. But um, I just wanted to see how easy this would be to unmold. So we get to see together. I'll grab this in. I'm pulling very slowly because I'm actually watching the suction being released, which is wonderful. Wow, look at that. It's so clean. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that smells wonderful. <laughs> wow, that smells wonderful. Oh, the texture is so nice. Guys, I'm telling you, go get yourself one of these molds. You'd be crazy not to. This is fantastic. Absolutely. So, let me see. Oh, yes. Look how easy this is coming loose. This is crazy. Wow. And I'm all so clean. Look at that. This is just the upper part that I didn't clean off. But, man. This soap, I can't even explain to you how nice this soap feels. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a fan. I'm a big, 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 big gigantic fan of this mold and I know I've been gushing over this mold but seriously you would too if you could see what I see and feel what I feel and how nice this soap feels so I'm going to leave it at this let you guys see I don't want to unmold the bottom just yet I'm gonna let this sit for a day or so and I mean the soap is nice and smooth and it can be cut right now but I'm learning how to let my soaps air out a little bit longer so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer and then I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to take the bottom off which would be in a day or so but instantly for you all so see you then hi darlings so it is the next day and I just got off work I wanted to see how easy it would be to unmold this soap so I'm just going to Oh, wow. Just give it a little bit of a push. I don't know if you guys can see me, but you know what? My soap cutter's in the way. Let me move that. But yeah, I just simply gave it a wee bit of a push. And look at that. It comes right off. So yeah, this soap mold is absolutely amazing. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. That is so nice. I just can't get over how nice the soap is. Okay, so now let's get the cutter back. So we can see what's cooking on the inside of this baby. And of course, it's all going to look the same, but still, I'm super excited. This top is gorgeous. Absolutely. And um, I did <laughs> remake my bee's knees. So here's the real version instead of the exploded version. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that's my replacement. That's what the public will get. And I, I'm not going to cut any ends off of this because there's no need to. And actually, I'm going to lay this on its side. Just so I don't get any drag marks. Which I'm still getting drag marks, but that's okay because it's at the very top. How pretty is that? Like, I'm in love. This is my first actual gradient soap that I pulled off or ombre or whatever one you want to go with but I do love this I really do and um 
yeah, I just, I really do like this up a lot. So, oops. Huh. Arms kind of loose. It's warmed up outside. It's been in the single digits and below that the other morning it was uh, minus six degrees out. But today it was like in the low 40s and then by the time you guys see this video who knows what the weather will be like but it'll be 52 degrees Thursday so lovely and that's all this craptastic snow outside so I'll be happy for the weather change but yeah since it warmed up like my arm is very loose you can always tell this is so dreamy and I said at first I didn't think that this fragrance went with this color. It absolutely does. Everything that's girly smelling doesn't have to be pink. You know what I mean? This fragrance is very powdery. Um, it's very... I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to explain. But for those of you who know Lush's Rockstar, it, it's similar to that. But this is a type. We're not affiliated with Lush or any of those things. Let me... I have not tightened this thing in forever. Okay. So. Yeah. I'm just a fan. It smells very, very nice. Very nice. Those colors. So I'm going to try to do more of this type of pour. And it makes it so much easier for me now. Because I do have a clear mold, which I'm madly in love with. I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, the clear mold helps me see where my lines are going. Um, how straight they are. How crooked they are. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Because I am. I really, really am. And, um, I got tons and tons of soap things to do. Just like new ideas, new ventures, stuff I want to figure out. I got to sit down and write out my plan for 2018 of what I would like to do. Okay, so yeah, I'll tell you guys this. Um, if you have a dream for your business, whether it be soap making or uh, candles or whatever you do, you have to, and this, I'm telling you all this because I'm talking to myself as well. You have to write it down. You really do. Because I am the kind of person, I have all of these ideas. Whether you write it down physically with a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, or you just put it in your phone, or whatever means you do, but you need to write it down. Because if you don't, you have a tendency to let those things get pushed into the back of your mind. And it's always like, oh yeah, I'll get around to that. Oh yeah, I'll get around to that. And then before you know it, you haven't done anything. So these plans that I have, I've been wanting to um, act on them for over a year. And I just haven't. So that's why I need to sit down and make my plan for 2018 and what I would like to see uh, happen with Royal Appleberry and what direction I want to take Royal Appleberry in. So yeah, um, for any of you, and even if it's not for business, just your goals in life, whatever you choose to do, write it down. People don't even understand how important that is, especially for people like me who get so tied up with everything else and then you forget what you really, really wanted to do. Even like my soaps that I want to do in advance and names, I actually take them and jot them down in my notes on my phone. Um with my soap designs because I got scrap paper sitting all over my computer table so I just kind of you know uh, doodle those down and leave them sitting there so whenever I decide um, I can't come up with anything or I want to try something new I'll just look at those designs sitting there on the table so yeah just write it down and make it come true you know what I mean so let's do that together we're gonna push each other to uh, fulfill our dreams our goals the things we want to see the things we want to do because like i said i definitely need to do it so um if you are new to my channel hello i am so freaking happy you found me thank you for tuning in thank you for sticking around throughout all of this soaping adventure um of course you watch the beginning the making <laughs> uh so thank you thank you i really do appreciate you 
And for those of you who are always here, I really, really appreciate you. All the love and support that you constantly give me. Um, why did I cut this little piece off? I don't know. <laughs> I just cut that in half and sent it out as a sample. And I need to get back to that too because I haven't, I've been kind of slacking on my samples. Yep. Okay, which way am I going? All right, there we go. Clean that up a little bit. But yes, this soap is wonderful. Absolutely. And I think that I'm going to name this soap because I've had this name. I don't know why. I've had this name for a minute and I just like it and I think it fits this soap. This soap is going to be called Paper Moon. I don't know why. I just like it. So here's Paper Moon. <laughs> be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like Paper Moon. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video which is normally every Sunday but I've been popping in throwing in extra videos here and there. Um, so yeah, you don't want to miss out on all that fun and hang out with the stinking awesome crew. So that's it. Love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. Until the next making video, I will see you over there. Bye, loves.